This movie will show you how to customize the Automania 2 Joomla template. Before you start, you will need to log into your Joomla admin panel first. Once you log in, go to the extensions tab of the main navigation bar and select the template manager. Now you will see how to replace the default Joomla template with Automania 2. To do this, select Automania 2 from the list of Joomla templates already installed in your admin panel and click the default button. Now click on the name of the template to go to in the Edit Template panel. You will now need to click the Edit CSS button in the top right corner. First check to see if you have permission to edit the template. If it says unwritable for the template CSS file, then you do not have any editing rights. To edit your permissions, you need to open an FTP client of your choice first, and then start an FTP connection by clicking the client connection button. In our example, we use the Fire FTP client. Now look at the right section of your FTP client and browse to the demo folder and then to the Joomla 1.5 and the template folder to finally open the Automania 2 folder and select its CSS folder. In the CSS subfolder of the Automania 2 template folder, browse to the template CSS file Right click on it and then select properties from the options menu. In the properties panel, select the necessary write and execute permissions manually and then hit OK to apply the changes. Now go back to the edit CSS interface in your Joomla admin panel and refresh your browser to see the unwritable status of the template CSS file change to writable. Then select the template CSS file and click the edit button in the top right corner of your screen. First customization option is to change the page alignment of the template. To see the default page alignment, click open the preview link in a new tab. As you can see, the template is aligned to the center of the screen. If you want to change the centered alignment, go back to the CSS file and search for the page selector using the search function of your current browser. Then go to your template preview page and refresh your browser. This will make the template's position change from the center alignment toward the left side of your screen. Now you will see how to change the link color of the template. Back in the Joomla admin panel, search for the A-Link selector in the CSS file. Using the color cop tool, select a suitable color for the links. In this example, we choose the red color as it suits very well with the template's current color theme. Then copy the color code and paste it into the new color value for the color property. When ready, click the apply button. Again, return to the preview page and refresh your browser to see the text links color change from the default blue color to the newly set one of red. You can also edit the color of the text links when the user mouses over them. Here you can use the color cap tool again to generate the preferred color and then paste its code into the color attributes value slot. Then click the apply button to confirm all the changes. Open the preview page and move the mouse over any of the links on the template to see that the link color does not change. Next let's see how to change the color of the left column links. Go back to the Joomla admin panel, locate the left column link selector in the CSS file using the search function of your browser. Using the color cop tool, generate the preferred color and then use its color code as the color property value. In this example, we choose to set the red color as it was previously set for the regular layout links. When ready with the left column link changes, click the apply button to confirm them. Now go to the template preview page and reload your browser session. Then pay attention to the left hand links of the template to see them turn from blue to red. 
Next let's see how to change the background colour of the template. Go back to the CSS file and search for the page selector using your browser's search function. Again, you can use the colour cop tool to generate the colour for the template's background. When ready, copy the colour code and paste it into the colour attributes value field. Apply the changes, then refresh your browser on the template preview page to see the newly applied background colour change from black to white. The next customization option is to change the header colour. Locate the H2 selector in the CSS file. The H2 selector refers to the big titles on the template. With the Color Cop tool, generate the preferred colour code and paste it into the colour attributes value. In this example, we use the same colour for the template header titles as the colour of the links. To apply all new changes, click the apply button. Now visit the template preview page and refresh your browser. As you can see, the colour of the main title of the template has turned from white to red. The last customization option is to change the text size. In the CSS file, locate the body selector and then replace the font size attribute value with the new custom value. Again, click the apply button and then return to the template preview page to see the changes as they will appear online. In our example, the font size will increase as we have set a bigger value for the font size attribute. Here is a summary of all the customization options for the Automania 2 template. To save all the changes made so far to the template's layout, click the Save button located in the top right corner of your screen. Well that's it, now you know how to customize the layout of the Automania 2 template.